yeah, brother. Welcome to Paper Mario. Oh, yeah, brother. We're continuing. We're actually continuing the story today. Because last time, we uh, yesterday, we finished up Chapter 6 and uh, did a little bit of exploring. We plunged into the sewer depths, uh, explored a whole bunch of it, and beat the master. So, you know, Mario runs the dojo now. But, uh... Now we actually got to figure out how to progress the story. And I realized throughout all my running around, the game didn't tell me. So I had to look it up. Mario! Great timing! Somebody was looking for you! He's over in Merlin's house! That's it. That's what you have to do to find out where the story is. They- Ooh, it's a ninji! And here I thought Nintendo just completely forgot about ninjis until, like, Mario Maker. I guess not! Wow! So usually you're supposed to go to Merlin to find out what to do next if you were really stuck. So I guess you would have found this out. <laughs> you, you would have found this out at one, some point. Oh, it's you! You came at such a good time! There's a guest waiting for you. Did he call for me by name? Uh, nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north, at the very end of the Earth. Meryl, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Meryl? Mer Meryl? Meryl! Are you related to Merlin? Meryl of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. Merlin has a son? Th th that means Merlin canonically... You know... I don't know if I want to think about that. It seems he's calling for you. He, he, he reproduced by budding! <laughs> if he is searching for you, you can sure you can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay! Yes, please hurry! I will run ahead and take tidings of you to Meryl. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. The dingies are adorable. They're one of my favorite Mario enemies. Anything that's like tiny and jumps at you. So like the ninjis and the thwimps and the, 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 the mini Goombas from I think uh, Super Mario 3. I don't know, they just feel so non-threatening even though they can kill me all the same. Uh, off screen, I did a little uh, badge management. I took off the badges. Some of the badges I will use to go fight the master. So right now we've got uh, none of the health badges anymore because we don't need it that badly. Power Plus is back on. Uh, just, just, just generally more equipped to take on general enemies. And uh, thankfully we explored the depths last time, so now we can actually just go to where I think Shiver City would be. We found a door last time that was locked, so I think that's it. Ninji for Smash. I'd be down for a ninja assist trophy. You never see those guys a whole lot. It's it's less <sighs> So when they got brought to Mario Maker, I was so excited because Nintendo actually remembered them. Seeing them here, I shouldn't be as excited because the 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 last time we'd seen them before then was Super Mario World. So all things considered. This is just the generation right after, so it's not a matter of, like, remembering them after a while. Just a matter of continuing to remember them. I am glad that they're con that they're currently being remembered, though. Not the same could be said about Spike. I, I'm sure a lot of people wish he could have been forgotten. Yellow Pikachu, nice fat duck. Is it on the way to become foie gras? Right in. I mean Mario. Merle searching for you. What button do I press again, Colonel Toad? I'm lost. I'm playing a Nintendo game for babies. I don't know how to play. Happy. Let's see now. Let's see now. Everyone, meet Bombette. She can kill everyone, but not right now because we don't have enough FP. Never mind. I'm out. Da, da. Ninji for Paper Mario Partner. Ninji for fr Why am I dying? Wait. Oh. I realized I didn't even heal since since I fought since I went ahead and fought the master. That that would explain a lot. Let's go do that real quick before we go any further. 
<laughs> oh, you think I would have done that? Yeah, we got we got some work done yesterday. Uh, lots of the partner upgrade ball thingies are down here in the sewer. And since I had never really been here before, I found like three at least. So pretty much everyone's ultra rank. Couldn't you take the blue pipe to a town? Yeah, those are all shortcuts. We found that out yesterday. I did. I did a you. I did a lot of exploring yesterday. I know where all those go. Those are all shortcuts that I kind of wish I knew about. If I hadn't been, uh, you know, discouraged from exploring there earlier. But now we know. After all my griping that there should be a shortcut system like Thousand Year Door. Oh, turns out there is a shortcut system like Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Da 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 da. Wait, what's going on? Well, well, but you look at that. We got a cosmic raid. Yeah, you, we just got done talking about the PS5 and we're actually playing the game now. So let me go ahead and give you a shout out. Cosmic, what's up? If you were playing Hyper Light Drifter, I want to know what you think. Oh, Subnautica. Well, you've been playing Hyper Light Drifter, so I'm going to pretend you were and ask what do you think about Solar Ash? Uh, it seems like these days I get more excited about the indie games that get shown off during these big presentations. So, that new game from the makers of Hyper Light Drifter. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, Ty Cloth, what's up? To Cut Case, hello, Cosmet. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome all in, Raiders. How was Subnautica? Hope it was well. Hope you didn't get spooked by the, the mean old fishies living deep in the ocean. Uh, we were just talking about uh, PS5 stuff, and uh, I th oh oh, this is where we need to go for Paper Mario. So before it becomes too late. Oh, good. We'll use this battle to delay for time. PS5 games. What is what are like the top three games you are excited for coming out of that presentation? I'm pretty excited for some of those indie games. Solar Ash. I keep trying to say Solar Flare. Um, Kena. Kind of looks like a Zelda game. And uh, whatever it is that, that... That cat game. That cat game. Stray. Stray. Right. I'd say it could be pretty good. I keep forgetting that I have a partner that literally just ignores defense. So let's do that. You are pumped. You love space. Don't know if it's a space-based game. Space-based. But I trust the uh, Hyper Light Drifter devs to make something beautiful, uh, atmospheric, immersive. It kind of looks like, I want to say, kind of Breath of the Wildy. So I'm surprised that more indie developers didn't take cues from Breath of the Wild when that became mega popular two, three years ago. This might be it. This might be the fruits of their labor. It definitely would have taken a while. Gotta get that extra content before I progress. That's why I spent yesterday's stream doing all of that. We're good. We're doing the chapter. I don't want to delay any further. Yeah. So let me see if, uh... Let me see if Cosme answered the question. You know they build their games around lore-based story. That is absolutely true. So even if... My general rule is don't get excited for games that don't show off the gameplay. Solar Ash is like one of the exceptions to that. Because I just trust the devs that much. You're excited for a uh, sprint. What's up? You're excited. You're excited for Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Last of Us 2. I, I feel like that's kind of cheating. They didn't show off Last of Us 2 during that event, I think. But it is coming out next week. I think I'm getting lost. Wait, nope. No, yeah, I'm lost. I know there was a door that leads to progress somewhere around here. So, uh, we're just gonna go find it. Is this it? You don't even do PlayStation. I usually don't. Oh, jeez. Now, this is the problem. Because this area is all completely new to me, I don't know how to navigate it. Unlike, uh, the Roadport sewers, where you, you, you constantly revisited it and you grew more accustomed to it. I'm just like, where, where's that area I was at last time? If anybody... I know, I, I know exactly who, but if anybody knows where you're supposed to go to get to uh, Shiver City, uh, I will, I'll accept some direction, please. Do -do 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 -do. Excited for a lot of things. 
I think PlayStation did a good, did a good, and uh, focused on exclusives, even more so on like indie games. Just go way deep down. All right, I'm guessing the hole then. Do 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 do. Focusing on exclusives. I, I mentioned before the problem I had with the PlayStation 4 is that when I bought it, I was excited for all like the JRPG devs that were still on board from the PS3 era, but they took forever to make games. So there I was, like, waiting for Persona 5, waiting for, uh, all the new offerings, uh, Final Fantasy 15, Kingdom Hearts 3, and it would take forever to th for those to come out. So it really, I should have just waited. I should have just waited. And I think that's what I'll do with the PS5. Wait for things that don't come to, like, PC. Da -da 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 -da. It's gotta be here, because it requires Becky Lester. Do -do 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 -do. Cosmet, you be back. Just finish your stream. Wait, wait, you were still streaming when you raided? <laughs> Everyone go follow Cosmet. He likes indie games that are really chill and really cool. And, uh, he's a very cool guy. Go check him out. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. 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 Nightmage Mystic, what's up? Adobatan! Night the you, Chan! How are you doing? We're talking about PS5 news. Oh, you also, not directly related to the event. I held it too long. Uh, not directly related to the event, but I saw that they also revealed more English gameplay for Yakuza Like a Dragon. It's already out in Japan, so not too exciting. But it's nice to see more, you know, about it. Because it looks like something that I might like. It's, it's got all the craziness of Yakuza, but it's also an RPG. We're talking about holes? Ah, uh, yes. Stanley Yelnax. You must dig a hole three feet deep and three feet wide every single day. Yeah, I hope everybody's excited for at least something coming out of there. Something. With the, the, the. For now, I'm good with my little retro games. Nintendo. Jumping on spikes. Ow! Today we're going to Shiver City. That can only mean that there are penguins afoot. And you know how I feel about them penguinos. They're cute. They're super cute. And I have a little bit of an internal conundrum that I realize. We saw penguins earlier, so I know they're coming. And I have... In, in Thousand Year Door, I gave them the voice of the crows from Hat in Time. <laughs> Hello, fellow penguin. What is your favorite murder on a train? But I also gave that voice to the ravens in this game. Maybe they can both sound like that. It's fine. Canonically. I'm just gonna say that the penguins are the ravens in disguise. Chapter 7? We're about to start it. Very soon. Just trying to find our way. Maybe put spike shield? I'm sure we're not gonna encounter too many of these guys anymore. In fact, I'm just gonna run away. I need to save all my FP and HP for actual battles in the cold. Ba -doo 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 -doo. Wait a minute. That's not it either. See, I'm not like... Oh, I want to find this out myself. Because I have already found this door before. I just need to remember how to get there. So if it's not here... Okay, it's not past the Lackey Lester part. Hmm. That voice is the best. I do like that it's multi-purpose. If at any point I'm like going away from it, please let me know. Do 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 do. Like I will always say, if I actually am asking for help, I will out loud ask for it. This might be it. Do 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 do. Do do do. Hey, hey. There it is. We just got a little lost. Just a little lost. Warmer, warmer. Ice cold. I mean, hot. Gumbario, tell me everything. 
It's a small room with a single pipe in the center. Don't quote me, but I'm betting that that pipe goes somewhere. Very astute, Goombario. This is why we keep you around. Oh, oh no. Mario getting kind of chilly. Ooh. Honestly, ooh. Honestly, I'm a little bit jealous. It's been getting hot. It was like 90 something today. Upgrade with my party members. Who's left? I think just Sushi and Lucky Lester. All right, guys, last vote of the game. Sushi or Lackey Lester? We've only got one decision to make. Ah, chili. Do 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 do. Uh, we're doing Lackey Tacky, Spike, Michael. Michael. We're upgrading Michael. I'm gonna call him Michael from now on. You wanna upgrade this member? Yeah, dude! Upgrade me up, fam! Like, totally! Lackey Lester is upgraded to Ultra Rank! Go further beyond plus ultra. Am I gonna buy the thing from the sketchy guy? I did buy a thing from the sketchy guy, and uh, I did not have enough money to buy the other thing from the, spe the sketchy guy. So remind me the second I get 64 coins again to come back and buy it. There it is, a star spirit. Oh, nice. Gotta wait. Oh, sorry. There were more votes for Spike than Sushi. We'll get her next time. Do ba boo. And with the game front wait. Uh, you never got far in this game. Kid you gave up on the first chapter. I will say preteen me gave up on the third chapter or on the fourth chapter rather. So this is also my first ish playthrough. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're doing uh, an ice level. Which I hope is a nice level. Ooh. I love it. Can I live here? I want to live here. It seems so nice and chill. Literally. I will take cold weather, weather over hot weather any day. This is Shiver City. It's usually completely covered in snow and ice. It's perfect for penguins. It's a bit cold for me. You seem to be fine, though. How do you do it, Mario? Well, you know, I got a thick layer of fate. Ooh, is that shadowy figure? We'll find out. You like this chapter? I hear this is uh, multiple people's favorites, and oh, I am, I am jamming. I love this. I love this place. I love penguins. If it wasn't for chickens, I think penguins would be the best bird around. You can quote me on that. Uh, hey, you have a diploma. Wow, I mean, wow, you beat the master. Oh yeah, just did it yeah, literally yesterday. How do you manage that? You're the strongest guy ever. Lots and lots of grinding and mushrooms. This city is becoming pretty dangerous lately. I saw this totally suspicious stranger wandering around just oh, a short time ago. He seemed to be searching for someone. I didn't like his looks. I wonder where he got off to. Oh, maybe I need to watch out for this shady character. Don't go possessing the tea gardener's body. The Taya gardener's body, tea gardener. <laughs> Whatever you mean. I'm not Taya. That's a different penguin. Also, this is not a virtual world. Starborn Valley and Shiver Mountain are both near here. But you'd better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. Mario, make sure to wear your thick overalls for this one. It's got all, it's got all like, uh, it, it's, it's lined with like real Koopa skin. Uh, what do you mean Koopa skin? Oh, not you, Koops. No, no, nobody you knew. What? Yeah, you're low. This is the most northernmost burg, Shiver City. You come from Toe Town? Very, very far away, yeah. Welcome to Shiver City. Very, very far away, yeah. Maybe they're Norwegian. I I'm getting a feeling for it. Welcome to Shiver Shop. How can I help you today? Norwegian, Swedish. I don't know what the accent is. Just something like that. Let's see what they actually got. Ooh, they got maples. I can't afford anything. But this is good to know. 
Starborn Valley. Is that the sister city of Stardew Valley? It is! Unfortunately, you can't grow anything in here unless you got a greenhouse. I remember playing Harvest Moon back in the day, and my only goal was to build a greenhouse before winter so that I could just have strawberries all the time, every day of the year. Because strawberries are the best fruit around, and no one can ever tell me otherwise. Don't at me. Start aboard the valley. Oh, sure. Go east from the city. But you have to be careful. I have it on the good feet that there are lots of scary monsters between here and there. The thought that makes me shiver. It seems like all I hear these days are frightening rumors. What's the shiver city coming to? Sounds pretty bad. I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shouting like, oh, or it's freezing. And he was also going, no, Mario. Who was that nut? What? Was it was it Egg Junior? I, it's there's only a few characters I could think that who are that obsessed with Mario. Oh, the Traveling Sisters three. Hmm, an Antarctic accent, whatever that is. <laughs> the Bobos? No, nah, that's not a Russian accent. The Bobos were Russian. They're Russian to get somewhere before they blow up. Uh, you're excited for the Friends of Mineral Town remake? Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Uh, I'm definitely gonna pick that up because I missed out on Friends of Mineral Town. I have it on Wii U Virtual Console, but with the remake, I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll take it. I need to play that game. The, uh, supposedly the definitive Harvest Moon experience. When you talk about Shiver City, ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, I think about penguins. Well, skating's nice too, but not when a monster's loose. It's scary out in the snow, so city skating, we will go! Yeah, yeah! Ra, ra, sis, boom, ba. Hello? I'm the city guard around here. I'm investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. You? You're not him, are you? I may be suspicious, but not the character. He's the penguin patrol, guardian of the city. He looks like Kyle from <laughs> South Park. He does an adequate job as an investigator, but I wouldn't count on his skills too much. When trouble arises, I think that Mario is the best man for the job. Eh, he's not so great. Now, Luigi. Da 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 da. Hector's going to bed? Oh, well, have a good night. I'm glad you at least got to see a little bit of the chapter. Starborn Valley is a little ways off from this city. It's a very mysterious place. They say that the scar kids rise up to the sky from there. But I haven't seen any stars rising to the sky lately. This voice is evolving. I think I like where it's going. But it's a slippery slope. To something very, very horrid. Maybe. Doo -doo. It looks like we could go skating on that frozen pond. Skating is tons of fun. I don't know, though. You think that ice might break? Oh, he might also notice that gate over there. It leads out into the highlands. The path from the gate leads all the way to Stardew Valley. Where your grandfather's farm is. We gotta, we gotta go inherit it, Mario. Go. I'm just enjoying this, this land. Oh, look, I can go ice skating. And by that, I mean, I need to get down into the... That's a, there's a key right there. <laughs> oh, didn't expect that to actually crack anything. What are you doing? Stop with it! Have you lost your wits? What did the ice breaks? Uh, I say that's a good thing. You guys are penguins, you'll be fine. I love sliding on the ice. We so much fun. How about you? Wanna join me? Oh yeah! Woohoo! Mario gonna place first in the Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics. I hear those games are actually pretty good, I just never have played any of them. Break the ice, but I'm having so much fun though! Let's talk to this guy first. I really love sliding around in the snow. Pingy pangy, pingy pong, snow is falling all day long. Skate or spin or sing a song. Wah oh hey, do be say, wave on say. Oh, I think I'd better practice. This is slowly turning into Joel from Vine Sauce. And I think it might somewhat be on purpose. No! Are you a complete idiot? I told you not to do that! That's really dangerous! 
Hey! Don't drag me by my ear. Hey! Who do you think you are? Don't you ever listen. You're a public nuisance. Take a hike! No, 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 hey! Uh, maybe I gotta put on the disguise before he'll take me back. I promise I won't do it again after I do it one more time. Uh, oh! Ha you repaired the ice! How did you do that? Like, literally how? Did you, like, go over it with, like, ice cement? Also, Chokwizmo! Quiz! Mario got booted. Uh, what are the odds of winning? I actually don't know because I haven't changed that for like years now. I feel like they're decent odds. Co quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizbo! Want to try the quiz? Yeah. Then let's go to the question. Question! How many members are there in Goombario's family? Um, Goombario, Goombario, Mom, Pop, Dad, uh, uh, Grandpa, Grandma. Six? Got it! Correct! Congratulations! Here's your stoppies! Yeah! You've correctly answered nine questions so far. Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell till we meet again! It's gonna be a while till we answer all those Chuck Quizmo questions, that's for sure. I don't even know if I'll need all those star pieces. Like, I've gotten enough star pieces to have, have, to have had a chance to buy everything that Merlot has, and nothing that I don't already have is too exciting. Especially with the BP limit in this game. This building's a warehouse. Nobody can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. Actually, I'm the one who lost it. I had it just a little while ago. I know where it is if you would just let me get under there. Let me break the break the ice. Break 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 it. Dang, he's good. This penguin is the gatekeeper. He guards the city gate night and day. He keeps track of anyone coming or going through Shiver City. All right, here's how we get past this guy. You gotta take the cartridge of the game and slightly remove the left side of it. That is called the uh, the tilted cartridge trick. And then he'll glitch out and you can sneak right past him. Red on alert because a stranger appeared in the city. So I can't let you pass without permission from the mayor. Who's the mayor? Have we met him? A horrible monster lives at the end. Everyone's scared. They can't leave. Why can't we have peace? Yeah! Why can't we have peace? Someone just let Mario go and take care of the problem and everything will be fine. Mario can... Defeat anything. Anything. He's beaten the master. He's got a diploma. I'm certified, baby. Maybe whoever it is is sleeping in the toad town? Nah, maybe not. Toad house? Nope. Look at, look at this little toad. He's got little earmuffs. How, how do those stay on? One, I didn't know toad has had, I didn't know toads had ears. Two, how does that stay on his head? I don't see a band that go around his entire mushroom face. His entire mushroom cap. Maybe it's part of the cap. The toad house slogan is refresh your body and soul. Do you want to take a nap? Might as well. Did you have a good nap? Good luck to you! What is this? You got the iced potato. A tough potato found in the Shiver region. Restores 5 HP. I just noticed that was an item. I hope you're okay that I took it. Mario's a kleptomaniac. We knew this already. I'm sure that's gonna be used in some beautiful recipes. Bolsey Bear, what's up? Senor Chicken! Hola! Me llamo Mario. We're in a very cold place right now. It's making me want some ice cream. And I have some, so... I should go ahead and get some later. We are 
in a pinguiny town, and I am loving it so far. This is what this is really cool. Ha <laughs> ha, pun totally intended and terrible. But besides that, we're trying to find a way to uh, get permission to break some ice and or leave the town. So we're talking to all these little little pingus. I had considered uh, using the tilted cartridge trick, but unfortunately, not the same as tilted CD-ROM or tilted digital game. How would you do that? Slightly remove the hard drive? You know, speaking of the PS5, I wonder if the hard drive is going to be replaceable. Since they specifically developed this special SSD for faster loading times, I feel like it's not. Which means that I would want to get the bigger hard drive model of PS5 anyway. So I gotta get ready to open my purse. People who travel to here from other towns must think that the city is freezing cold. I used to eat. I heard though that somewhere in the world is a dark town covered in sand. No, that would be intolerable. I don't believe it even exists. Lava Lava Island? It's got sand and lava. Not really every part of it's hot. Bangy bangy penguin pop, feel the rhythm stop and bop, do the pingy penguin hop. All the snowmen in the line, a bucket that fits super fine, eyes and nose is looking cool, bring a scarf you pingy fool. Oh, I'm down with this bop. Dude, you should audition for an album. Go, give me your mixtape. Give me your mixtape. Mario knows the best record labels. Anyone for a shaved ice treat? Strawberry flavor, maybe watermelon. C can, can I have both? That sounds amazing. On my personal favorite, tangy tangerine. Oh, -ho! I love frozen treats. Yes, yes, yes. Do I get? Please give me some. I'm not leaving until I get. Until until Mario has a little taste, a little lick. Don't lie to me. Shiver City is covered with snow all year round. Yellow Pikachu es un uh, raton. Es un raton amarillo. Sounds about right to me. Con electricidad. This penguin's wearing an apron. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. Oh, okay. You know this house is important because it has more than one room. He's gonna make me an ice treat with his library. Just shave it all down. This guy is more equipped for ice treats. Look, he's got like the juices. I think he needs some juice right now. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. Attention! Attention! A body has been discovered! What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says... Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Huh? Oh. Oh dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. Oh, man's dead. Oh, man's dead. Help somebody, anybody. My husband is dead. He's been murdered. It's a penguin murder mystery. Wait a minute. Well, I guess three people did discover the body. Gumbario, me, and the penguin. The penguin wife. Oh, 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 we going dang and rope today. <laughs> what is it with the penguins and murder mysteries? Thousand Year Door and this. Fox Beast King, what's up, Bradfield? Hello. Uh, what's what's going on here, madam? Just to calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband. Somebody clipped his flippers. My puffin, you're right. The mayor's been murdered. Murder! This is like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. I'm going to jail. I'm not 
going to jail. Mario, Mario not guilty. He just found a body. Please, Monokuma, somebody help me out. But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Not the time for penguin jokes, man. Uh, hmm, him, right there. That the man with the most suspicious mustache. Hey, it's beautiful. It gets me discounts at shops. What do you mean suspicious? I told him not to come into the house, but he bars the right in. Ma'am, ma'am, you told me I was perfectly allowed to come through the door. I've been set up. It was her. It was her. My husband was alive, right, until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey, you, mustache. Are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? No, 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 let me. I did hit him with a hammer multiple times. I was, I was inspecting the body. You know, looking for clues. Game gets an E10 rating just for that. Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Gumbario! Gumbario! Corroborate my evidence! Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, I saw it with my own eyes. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. He got drunk. Uh-oh. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not a culprit. What's your problem? You don't actually think Mario did it, do you? Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case, a high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit that peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record. You swear you didn't do this? I... Okay. I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Maybe they're hiding in the present. All right, all right. What did what did Kyoko say in Danganronpa? What 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 are, what are the tenets of a locked room murder? Uh, either 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 the victim killed themselves, or the murderer is still in the room, or the murderer was able to leave the first chance the door was opened. Ah, uh, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. Ah, uh, I see. The old Phoenix Wright strategy. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. Fine. All right, we gotta inspect the body for clues. I see no pink Pepto-Bismol blood, so I think we're fine. Christy Connect, what's up? Welcome to the murder mystery. Ugh. Also, Fox Beast King, thanks for the follow. Uh. For some reason, you thought this chapter was in Thousand Year Door. There was a mystery involving penguins on a train, no less. But I, I guess this is this. Objection! Just like Phoenix Wright, the only way to prove that you're innocent is to prove who the actual murderer is, even though that's not how law works. Yeah, it's more convenient for me, as long as all the evidence is there. Is someone in the box? What, this? It's just a box. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. He's got a memo that says Herringway. We know that. No. I, I don't seem to be able to interact with the present in any way. I heard from Goomba. That, that's not your element right now, mister. Let's see if any of these partner abilities can do anything with the present. If I hide, the present will reveal itself to be the true killer. Doesn't work. Reveal anything hidden to me? Hello? Would a murderer carry a baby around? I don't think so. Mario, completely innocent. I think we can't do anything with this. Sir, what evidence do you have that says I am the killer? Penguin law is different. You saying Phoenix Wright is a penguin? He's a phoenix. That's a different type of bird entirely. Hmm? Got any leads yet? You still are main suspect, so I advise you to go find the real criminal and fast. You killed him, David. I know my instincts were right. 
When I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I knew you must be up to no good. Oh, oh the horror! My poor, poor penguin kins! Please forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. So this lady is awfully intent in blaming everything on me. I don't even... Look, look at this picture on the fireplace. It's not even a picture of them. They don't even live here. All right, we gotta go gather some evidence, I guess. Who's named Herringway? Object to this. I object. I object a lot. The thing on what is a pacifier. You always thought of it was his nose. You just realized... What is literally baby? Ha! I'm not going to hurt you. I don't socialize with murderers. Get away from me. I'm starting to feel like Joker from Persona 5. I'm outcasted. Everybody thinks I did the crime. There, the penguin was buried in his back room, and no one was the slightest idea who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're in one of Herringway's mystery novels. Herringway is a novelist? How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife felt the bad about the mustache devil. And he said to be such a gentleman too. Still, I guess you couldn't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Hey, hey, don't judge me by the size of my hammer. How terrifying! It goes to show you that you should never trust your first impression of people. Penguin voices. How many different ones can I come up with? Uh, you're loving the accent. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Christy. Also, how are you, by the way? Do you see the PS5 news? If you're just coming in, what are the top two or three games you're excited for from the PS3 announcement? That's the question of the day. Herringway? Well, he's a mystery novelist who lives in the city. You suspect Herringway? Nah, it couldn't be him. He and the mayor are friends. We're in, we're in some unspecified European penguin country, and you know what? I'm all for it. If I had played this game before playing uh, a Thousand Year Door, I would have totally given the penguin detective this accent. You penguin killer! You just keep your distance. What's the gleam in your eye? No! Ah, I'm gonna be a murder victim! Please, somebody help me! No! Stop! I won't let my name be besmirched! I won't let you go! He must kill in order to, pro to, to protect his name. I suppose it's too late to get that shaved ice, is it? Anyway, yes, of course I know him. Everyone in the city knows about him. He's a world famous mystery novelist. You think Hemingway killed the mayor penguin? Uh, that sounds nuts, but uh, you might be onto something. Herringway does know everything about crimes and criminals. And he seems to have mysteriously disappeared. Has that ever happened in the history of ever? Like, the murderer ended up being a mystery novelist because, like, they know everything about mystery tropes. Nobody even left the house except Mario. Nobody even got into the house except Mario. Like, why am I, why am I bothering to look all around the town for evidence? If this was Danganronpa, we'd spend at least, like, half an hour inspecting the crime scene itself. Ah, Sprint is at August 17th in Persona 5. Ooh, getting pretty far. Brad's in April. Brad, you're still at the beginning of the game. Brad, Brad, you are still in the tutorial. It gets much faster. Don't worry about it. Like, once you actually beat the dungeon and then are able to just do daily school stuff, like, it'll fly by, so don't, don't worry about that too much. Go at your own pace. Like, you are doing fine. You're actually doing pretty good. Like, I know you're, like, pretty far even on your first day in the dungeon. Heading way? Yeah, sure. He lives right next to the lake. His house is always empty, though. Who knows where he is? What? Heading way might be a murderer? No! That can't be. He's a really good friend of the mayor's. He'd have no reason to off him. Maybe they know some deep, dark secrets. Unless there was some super secret reason. Ever since I started reading Herringway's, Herringway's mystery novels, I suspect the unexpected. If only Sherlock Holmes was on the case. Come on, Ryuna! Uh, Nar Narahodo! We have to find out! We have to see! Savari! <laughs> Wait, that's a different detective. 
literally blocking the pipe out of here. This is karma for dropping the penguin in Mario 64. They don't know about that. I got rid of the evidence. Can you violate the Geneva Conventions? You can in Mario 64. Eh, Christy didn't watch the PS5 live stream. You were asleep. I mean, that's perfectly fair. A lot of, a lot of stuff that I didn't expect to be excited by, though. So, when when it does come out, I'll... I'll, I'll we'll see what we'll see what's at release date. There are games that I would buy. There are... If there, there are certain games I would buy a PS5 for. You better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from this part. Oh no, sorry. I'm serious now. There's no use trying to move me. A am I being too rude? I sorry. I sorry, eh? Some of these guys gotta be Canadian. Hey, you have a diploma. Wow! It's the same, it's the same... He doesn't even care. The fact that I have diploma overshadows any sort of murderous suspicion that I may have. Goku, how are you doing? Are you excited for the PlayStation 5? I know, uh... You were, uh, you were around when we were watching the direct... Not direct, whatever that was. There's a rumor that you murdered Mayor Penguin. Did you really do it? I don't think you did. I bet it was the crazy guy I saw running around here the other day. He was weird. You don't look so... weird. Well, thank you. But, uh, uh, you'll get the new... Uh, the, you'll get the PS5 if the new Kingdom Hearts is on it. Could you imagine? I'm one of those people who bought the PlayStation 3 expecting Kingdom Hearts 3 to be on it, and it didn't happen until until the PS4. Imagine all the people who bought a PS4 for the next Kingdom Hearts, and sure, they got Kingdom Hearts 3, but then, like, they have to wait till the PS5 for Kingdom Hearts 4. Oh, my goodness. No more, please. People have budgets. Uh, ice skating. Okay, these girls are not aware of the situation, and that's totally fine. I don't want them spreading gossip over to Toe Town. Penguins Canadian confirmed. Canadian Norwegian, you know. They're part of that, um... See, th this is a lost continent that used to connect Canada to, uh, Norway and Sweden. And, uh, it sunk into the, in, into the ocean and then resurfaced many, many years later. Add that to the Mario lore. This is Herringway's house. He's a novelist. Herringway should be in there, but I haven't seen him lately. It's very peculiar. It if this was Super Paper Mario, you know he'd just be chilling in the third dimension or something. Hmm. I must see. Use the lens of truth. Yeah, there are there are rumors of what um what pricing the PS5 is going to be at. I mentioned that earlier. Six hundred dollars seems to be the. Uh, the fully fledged version with a bigger hard drive and a disk drive, or rather, 800. I I don't know. I don't know. There's rumors are all over the place. But 600, 800 is what I expect, and I'm not like bummed out at all. You know, the guard dude isn't here anymore because he's over by the murdered body. I bet I could break the ice. Let's try it. Hit. Canada! Good Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 level. <laughs> nice. I remember there was Vancouver in Tony Hawk's Underground. Haha! -ha. Sushi, I hope you're okay. They do say that when you're transporting sushi fish, you should put it on ice. The only way to preserve it. Ooh, so cold! You got the warehouse key. You got the small key. Use it to unlock any lock inside this dungeon. Uh, I said, uh, I don't talk to penguin killers. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You don't get new consoles unless there's a specific game. I'm learning that. I'm learning that lesson slowly. I used to get consoles at launch just because it was shiny new technology and then just wondering what to play. You, you think I've been a around the block enough times to learn my lesson. You know when I bought the PSP, the very first original one, I literally had no games for a week. And then I think the first PSP game I ever bought was... Wipeout? Probably either Wipeout or some like Diablo clone. 
I don't even remember the name of, like Untold Legends or something like that. This building's a weird house. Nobody can get in. Somebody lost the key. I should retrace my steps. Hey, listen. If you find the key anywhere, let me know, okay? Okay. I found it. Warehouse good Tony Hawk Pro Skater level. I thought you were saying Canada is a good <laughs> Tony Hawk level. I mean, both are pretty good. The Tony Hawk remake. I'm excited for one and two. Two has some of my favorite levels in the entire Tony Hawk verse. Verse? Is there a, a Tony Hawk cinematic universe? Whoa! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Santa going down the chimney! Wait, whoa! Oh, he's got a secret attic! <laughs> what in the... No. Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Ingenious. He old. This is where he goes to right. How does he get here if not through the chimney? <laughs> You only get some of the consoles because the only because there are Kingdom Hearts games on there. I mean, I definitely know, I definitely know enough Kingdom Hearts fans. Yeah, it's a fun series to me. I'm not like super into it, but I enjoy it. Heck yeah. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't seen? Haven't you heard of me? No. What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief of Suspect. Actually, it's me, but uh, let's go with it. You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I didn't know such a thing. Hmm. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house. We are, we are going through the world's most Nintendo-themed game of Clue right now. It was Herringway with the pen in the story, in the book, in the gauge of stairs. That's just that. All right, today, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. Not ev not a lot of consoles, I would say, have a good launch. There's only a few that I can really say are outliers. Uh, N64 came out with Super Mario 64 and Pilot Wings, so that kept me tied it over for a while. Switch came out with Breath of the Wild, that literally took me months to get tired of. Like when you when you play games for as long as I have, you realize it really does matter what games are at at launch. Like specs, I've lived through so many console wars. I've been, you know, that 12-year-old kid being like, my console's better. But eventually I'm like, does it matter if there's no games? <laughs> eh, Switch was good, Wii U was a barren desert. Wii U was a barren desert for a long time. Sadly. Sadly. There were good games on it, but... Nintendo could only work so fast. 3DS was anemic at launch. Sadly, I thought Pilot Wings uh, 3DS would have been like... The launch title for me to keep me going for a long time, but it... It wasn't much. It was a nice callback to a Pilot Wings on the N64, but yeah, I was one of those 3DS ambassadors. I paid 250 for the 3DS at launch, and I'm so glad that Nintendo, you know, dropped the price after that. I don't feel bad because hey, I got some free Virtual Console games out of it, I guess. Like uh, Wario Land 4 for Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Uh, but uh, look, guys, look. One of my greatest achievements, Wario Land 4 on the Game Boy Advance. Hmm. Switch, you think Switch had the best launch of any console you lived through. For six months after launch, it was still coming out with great games. I think Nintendo, like, found the recipe. They specifically made sure there were enough games to last the first few months of Switch, and that just kept the momentum, kept the ball rolling, until more and more third parties went like, you know what? I want to put my game on Switch. And there you go. Oh, you again? Have you come up with anything? Hmm? 
Say, isn't that the penguin behind you, the mystery novel writer named Herring Way? It was Manokotobo in the conservatory with a frying pan. Ha! I don't even have a frying pan in my inventory. I already gave that to Taste Tea. Got it. What? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had a herring way written on it. Ah, if that were true, I most definitely would have noticed it. Oh, I noticed it. Hmm. He definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course. It's a message about his death. It says, Maya. <gasps> Maya Faye. Someone get in here. Detective Gumshoe, arrest this woman. Super Nintendo had Mario World, also pretty good. With his legs to breathe, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Herringway, you called the hearted murderer? It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? Do you actually think I would do this to the mayor? He is a great friend of mine. Mmm, yes. Yes, you were good friends. Aha! But the death was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on, really. You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Cut him some slack. He's a good writer. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I haven't eaten a single thing. I may be becoming emaciated. I ordered a lot of Uber Eats, but I couldn't find my house. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. I gotta collect more evidence. I gotta collect more suspects. Hmm, this penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Hey, 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 he's moving. He's moving. Oh, my egg. Oh. He's absolutely fine. There was no murder. It's great. <laughs> All right, uh, Gumshoe, you can get you, you, you can let Maya go for the like fourth, fifth time. Arrest this woman again. <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll we'll arrest her for another murder, and then we'll prove her innocent in court. You know the usual stuff. Yeah. My husband's returned. He's a ghost. <laughs> oh, good gracious! Hello, everyone. What's going on here? But what? Mayor, we thought you were dead. Our back room murder mystery is a bosh. What a plot twist. Just call me Mario Night Shyamalan. Oh, what are you talking about? Um, I think I seem to remember going to the chef to get the souvenir for Herringway. Oh yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. The paper. The paper he has is a gift tag. That's why he's next to a gift. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh my gosh. Oh my g <laughs> Just taking a nap. Here you are heading me. This is what I was reaching for. Merry Christmas. Thought town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. If Toad Town counts as a big city, I would love to see some sort of New York analog in Mario. Maybe Neo Bowser City. Make it canon. Well, oh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But the mayor, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. You know, we should have checked for a pulse or something. Oh, uh, yes. So sorry. Sorry for being dead. <laughs> I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. 
I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Well, thank goodness. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. <laughs> Hello, sorry about the date. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shaver City, Jewel of the North. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starbone Valley, do you? What about the Stardew Valley? We have a good vacation package. Here, the only payment necessary is that you inherit this farm. Oh, I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, we're getting through this way faster than I imagined. You've only been playing for like an hour. I mean, we've been streaming for an hour and a half, but we started the game like half an hour in. Uh, I knew you were innocent the entire time. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, Mario doesn't let go of a grudge that easily. A backroom murder case? Please, how completely silly. That overzealous guard must have read too many mystery novels. <laughs> anyway... Indeed. Yeah! The Switch is like 549 New Zealand. I, I, I don't know how much that is relative to the, uh, the wages in New Zealand. But, uh, hopefully that's not too much. The Switch, it's, it's getting hard to find here as well. What, what is my, uh, oh yeah, I need to be, I need to go to Starborn Valley. I should be allowed to go now. Oh, this was pretty nice. No wonder he was, he, no wonder everyone thought he was dead. He was only unconscious from the gift that fell on his head. But, uh, Mario gave him a little of uh, this. Imagine, imagine sleeping so still that people think you're dead so a murder mystery investigation is launched. To be fair, everyone here um, has no idea about any sort of medical expertise whatsoever. I think they need a doctor. Wasn't New Donk City supposed to be like New York City? I guess so. I guess I'm thinking like I want to see it more in like a, a Paper Mario game or some sort of Mario RPG. Just something with like a big, huge city that you get to like meet characters in. New Donk City was cool. Like very New York. But uh... I loved Mario Odyssey, but the thing that disappointed me was how short it felt. Which is really weird to say, because here's what happened. I beat it in one weekend, but then I looked at the playtime for the game, and I spent over 40 hours playing it. So it's not short for a platformer game. Like, 40 hours is a long time. But because it was so hard to put down... That entire weekend, I just did nothing but play Mario Odyssey. So I shouldn't, like, complain that it was short. I, maybe I should complain it was too good? Uh, I'll tell you, after that game came out, I was really hoping they'd add more DLC kingdoms to help prolong it. But they never really did much other than add Luigi mode, uh, Luigi balloon mode and add some more costumes. Maybe, maybe they'll still add more. Still remaining hopeful, even though. Don't worry, chicken. You got this. You got what? I demand all your games and consoles. Now hand them over. No. Washney, protect me. Bitty Melon, what's up? Hello, hello. Yeah. What's the difference between eggs and super eggs? I really need to remember to get rid of egg. Get rid of the stream elements eggs. Stream elements. I got stream elements channel points and Twitch channel points. I had the stream elements regular eggs before Twitch had their own channel point system. You can gamble with the stream elements eggs, but you can't gamble with the with, 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 with the channel points on Twitch. You got this! Nice cow! The wiki redeeming hydrate. The Twitch channel points you can actually redeem for cool stuff, so I will drink some water. And Christy Connect, I see you saved out that chicken attack, so let's see it. For puffin's sake, the mayor's wife is an alarmist. Although I bet everyone involved in that case would agree my detective work was perfect. Little did I know nothing bad ever happens in this town. Except... Wait. What's the date? 
Oh, oh. Quick, get inside. Oh, no. Oh. Mario is in danger. Into the warehouse. Oh, 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 oh. Mario safe. Oh, oh. Tube Soup beat Odyssey in one day. Too much filler, though. I slept four hours in a day. It was over the weekend, uh, which I count like the end of Friday to that. So like, uh, definitely played it a lot, but <laughs> that was a very, very lazy weekend. I will tell you, like it wasn't exactly 40, it was like 30 something, but that's still most of a 48 hour period. Oh, okay. The mayor said it's okay for you to go on through. I was very excited to play Odyssey. Very excited. <laughs> detective hasn't noticed the ice is broken. Well, definitely the detective and Mario are good friends now after breaking that ice. Also, it's kind of too late, so, you know, whatever. Who? I think I know. You guys want to guess? Why am, I, why am I saying that like he's our friend? He's my friend, but I don't think he's Mario's friend. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mario! I've been here forever! I was getting desperate! I thought I was gonna freeze! This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy! I hate it! I can't take it anymore! I gotta get out of here! I'm going to beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm! You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do this! And if all else fails, you can do a little, a few laps around the pool to warm up. Watch your HP, though. Oh, I've been busy, Mario. I learned cool techniques. Get it? Cool. Check this out. Ah -ha! Transform! Whoa. Look at this piece of work. I've been taking a little magic course on the side. And now you're gonna be my final exam! Yeah! I'm gonna win this time! Moon prison power! M make up? Or not, maybe. Mr. Egg Jr., good to see you again. Yeah, put on a little Sailor Moon outfit. I'm waiting. I'll let you do your whole transformation sequence. Here, I'll even give you some uh, transformation music if you so choose. It's Junior Troopa! I'm stunned! Really? This guy will just not quit! Max HP 50, attack power 8, defense power 1! He's obviously been training. It seems he can use magic now. Oh, let's get this over with. If Cloud Kingdom and Rune Kingdom were actual kingdoms, not just boss areas, it would have been perfect. Hey, it's nice that they ended up putting a bunch of star, uh, power moons in those places, but definitely uh, more barren than the rest. I think the problem is not really that we needed more kingdoms. It's just the kingdoms that were there could have been could have had a lot more to them, like multiple areas. Like I'm thinking, like the difference between Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Mario Odyssey was more like in the Banjo Kazooie levels of stuff in the world. But if it was just a bit more like Banjo Tooie, and if they were more, if the worlds were more interconnected, I'd say that'd be perfect. Let's see, let's see. He has one. I'm scared about what he might be able to do, but I think we're fine. Let's go power jump. Let's see his. Uh, see how many hits it would take. Happy Mario, you like magic tricks? You won't like this one. I'm gonna pull a Goomba out of my hat. Eight. <laughs> that felt fantastic! I just keep on getting better! I mean, that's all not all that much. Okay, sir, baby sir, baby egg sir, I gotta put you in timeout, and you need to chill out. But also, I could just use timeout. You got a froggy stick. You just stole Kamek's wand. You stole Kami Koopa's wand. That's gotta be what that is. Like, any moment now, Kami Koopa's gonna swoop on down and like scold him, like rummaging through her things. Like what if this is Kami Koopa's son? Look, if Merlin can have a son, I'm not surprised if Kami Koopa can also have a son. 
with who will not think too hard about that. Yeah. All right, so you know we'll just go bop him, attack. He definitely, he definitely can't do enough damage to us, especially now that we've uh, debuffed him. Nice. Heart of the cards, guide us. Mario puts himself in defense mode. Hoo -hoo. It's working. When did Mario's attack get so high? I guess it's because of the power up badge I put on. Yeah! Come on, is that all you got? I took down the master. Dun, 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 dun. This is chump change. I could take you out right now. Perry Carry, you did good. But today we won't be delivering him mail. We're gonna deliver him unto death! Easy. Egg. I know it's sad. I know it's sad that I've defeated my own egg kind. But this is all to help teach him a lesson. I... I made sure he survived to tell the tale. Let's go FP up. Mostly because I, I feel like we're just good now. Oh! Yeah, murder. Mario may not have murdered the penguin, but eggs! Free range! No! 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 Okay, fine. See, he's a tough egg. He's a tough egg to crack. <laughs> That's him. That's Egg Jr. This snowman is missing a scarf. He looks cold. It's a snowman. It's a snowman. It's a snowman. It's a snow puff. There's 30G inside this. What is it called again? One's missing a hat. One's missing a scarf. Eh, none of them are missing eyes or noses. All right, that's probably important, maybe. Maybe not. You won't tell me what happens further. Oh. Don't tell me Mario actually murders the egg boy. That'd be terrible. And probably not allowed in an E-rated game. Feels like the moons in Mario Odyssey were devalued because there were so many. Stars felt they more opponent more important because there were only a few in level. I feel like what they could have done was What are whoa! What are those? Bird, dinosaur, feet, things? We got icy piranha plants too. All right, title time. What they could have done with Mario Odyssey was they could have separated out the easy moons from the hard moons. Like they already had the concept that like, grand events were rewarded with like the triple moon. So maybe like slightly harder challenges could have given you a double moon or Maybe like the super easy moons were just different colored moons or something like that. Just something that made it seem less like, oh, if I want to get five more moons, I could go on these grand adventures, help these help, help these wayward NPCs and uh, solve their life problems. Or I can just like ground pound in, on the ground a couple of times and whoa, I got five moons out of nowhere. Something like that. Like if you're going for 100% completion anyway, then that's less of an issue because it's not a matter of like what any one moon is worth. It's more like a matter of how many do you still need. But I can see how that definitely would not feel as fun if you're just going for just playing the game. This is a frost piranha. Frost piranhas are frozen piranha plants. Max HP 10, attack 4, defense 0. They'll try to freeze you with their icy breath. You'll be at their mercy if they freeze you, so you better try to immobilize them right away. Ice attacks won't work. They love ice. Fire attacks, though. Super egg attacks, though. They did it. Egg. Nice. That's a pretty good echo you got going on there. I don't have any fire flowers. We're just gonna go for the bop. Jump on him. Super egg. Twelve! Take that! Oh, that's what those, those are what those rocks are for! 
Ow. Rude. Ow. Rude. All right, I'm ready for you this time. Yeah. <laughs> huh? That was a big one. Here come the big one. That did six even though I blocked it. I do not like you, Sam. I am. I do not like you with a can. Go put the rocks. Something tells me I can attack those rocks and get them out of here. This is a gull pit. Whoa! Gull pits look pretty burly, don't they? HP 12, attack 2, defense 0. Gull pits attack by picking rocks up in their mouths and then spitting them back out. The bigger the rock they spit, the more damage you'll take. Big rocks take 7 HP in damage and small ones take 5. They can't do much damage with that ammo, so you should concentrate on the rocks first. Well, now I know. Let's do power quake, because that will probably attack everything including the rocks. Maybe not. I didn't see an arrow. Oops. Hope I survive! Uh-oh! I actually might not survive! I think I'm fine, though. I can't... Ooh, but I can't use any items! Okay, 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 okay. This is actually really bad. <laughs> When's the last time I saved? It might have been a while ago. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is fine. I'll just use Bombette. She can blow everything up. It'll kill everything on the screen. We are okay. We're okay. I'm gonna go back into this. Kaboom! Ah! The enemies here are a threat! Last time I saved was in Dry Dry Desert. I'd believe it. I would believe it. I imagine somebody who wasn't streaming this could have gone like an entire day playing from start to finish, just like somebody marathoning Mario Odyssey. Forget to save, and because this game has no auto saves whatsoever, they could very well lose all their progress up to like chapter one. Lucky Clucky, that's not luck, that's strategy. Calculated down to the HP if I would survive or not. Oh, yeah. Give me a star piece. I would like a star piece. Somewhere. It's somewhere in here. I know it. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swat down a couple of bothersome flies. They'd probably save after each chapter, so there's that. You know, in some cases, that doesn't even save you. I... I have been honest about this. I'm playing this game on a flash cart instead of a original cartridge. I do own an original cartridge of this game now. But uh flash cart was the simplest way to play this on real hardware at the time. And uh there was an issue with it where it didn't save after the first session of this game. Even though I picked save every chance I could get, even during like the story cutscenes. I Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Egg is dead. Sir? Sir? Buddy? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll unfreeze him in a thousand years. Welcome to the world of tomorrow! I actually really like that you can come back to him and see the state of his body since the last time you saw him. Wow, that was literally only like 10 minutes ago. Heal up. It pains you that I didn't see the panel. I was looking all over. I eventually found it. Okay, let's go. Why, Goku? That's not illegal. I didn't say where I got the ROM. I'm gonna say my official story is, even though I didn't have a cartridge, I totally got the ROM of this from my Virtual Console Wii version. Um, I hacked my Wii and I extracted the ROM directly from the Virtual Console WAD file, which is a thing you can do, and it's totally what I did. I gotta tell you guys, when I streamed Mother 3 at the beginning of last year, I actually did take an, my copy of Mother 3 that I imported and uh, used a DS flash cart to rip the ROM out of it. Because it was around the time that Nintendo was starting to get more strict about their 
guidelines on YouTube content. And they specifically started making a rule that if you are going to stream, like, emulated content, you have to have actually rips the ROM yourself. So that's what I do for all my games now that I play from Nintendo. Absolutely. Nothing, no problem here. You got the letter! A letter to Merlot at Shooting Star Summit. Cool. I wonder who could have written that kid a letter. Boo doo 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 Who's bawing me? Whoa! Where? At a, at, 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 Yeah. Ghost busting time. Somebody get me my ghost busting pack. Don't cross the stream. Alright, alright. Tattle him up. Unidentified ghost appeared. Where's my silk scope? I need to catch it. It's probably just a ghastly or something. Silk scoop! It's a ghost! This monster! Even I don't know what it is. I don't even... I don't know why. But it looks really terrifying. I get the funny feeling I had a nightmare about it. I was naked, I had no pants on, it was the middle of school. Wait, I usually don't wear pants. It was just me at school. What a horrifying nightmare. Max HP 20, defense zero. I don't know its attack are, but it must be very powerful judging by its looks. Huh, your 20 is not all that much. All right, let's, let's jumpy jump. Nine. What we got, what we got? You're not gonna survive another turn though. Hey, hey, PK Starstorm. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is instant death. One. I am scared. Yeah. Oh, I am defeated. All right, let's just get this over with. Who, 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 who gets the honor? Bro, let's slap some sense into them. You call yourself a ghost? I'm a ghost! Take this! And that, and this, and that, and this, and that! <laughs> Slapping some sense back into them. Goku's gotta snuggle a puppy. You gotta, you gotta snuggle your Scoob. Understandable. No! Oh, run away! Why? So many twinks. Wait a minute. Wait, I know your friend. What are your names? Twink, twank, and twonk. Oh, you're, 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 you are Merlin's son. It's gonna be. <laughs> uh. Abandoning a poor defenseless egg in the elements? That's what I'll be arrested for. He's fine. I gave him a smartphone. He's occupied. He can play Candy Crush all day. Ah, you're Mario, yes? Thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm called Merle. I care for the Star Kids born here on Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you. But not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way, please, follow me. I see. Ninjis! More of them. So, d does he have just... Red teeth? Is that what I'm seeing? Or are those like little buttons? Or are those his nipples? I've never been so busy. These star kids are as hyper as the day is long! They are exactly 24 hours hyper. What does that mean? Junior Troopa might win at Candy Crush. He'll only win at Egg Crush. Uh, that ghost went to a party and someone dumped a bag of glitter on him. He could never remove it. Oh, that is the worst. You guys know there's a thing where, like, 
you can mail order an envelope full of glitter to people and then like when they open it of course it's gonna get everywhere and that stuff is impossible to clean i would not wish that on my worst enemies i would not that's a waste of glitter i wanna uh, 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 uh. i want to go to store haven when I get to go there, I want to deliver lots of people's wishes, and I want to become a great star spirit someday. When I do, I'll grant your wishes, Mario. Of course I will. I promise. Oh, yeah? Mario wishes... that Nintendo never put Spike in another game again. Well, I did. No, no, not you. I meant to Spike the enemy. Not you, Lucky Lester. Oh, okay. I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frightened the strangers to try to keep the valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Alright, if only I had a Pokeball. I'd have captured them. Those are buttons on the ninjas. Uh, you know, I like the idea that they're wearing, like, cozy little onesies. That's probably it. Egg. You can also send crates of stuff. You mean, uh, copper light? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, all the better to complete your Animal Crossing fossil collection with. I wonder how Tweak is doing. He was the last one to rise up to the sky. He went just before Bowser took the star rod. He was such a great kid. He looked after everybody. Do you think I'll ever get to see Twink again? I think so. I Twink so. Toad. Please get the Star Rod back from Bowser, Mario! The Mushroom Kingdom deserves to be at peace! The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Come here! Come here! Yeah! Did you sleep well? I wish you luck! Any potatoes? No? Uh, do you have any VHSs? Ba -da -da -da. I've got my hands full with these star kids. They're all so cute. Come in, please. Okay. I didn't mean to... I didn't want to progress the story. Oh. Now, Mario, you must head, head well what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Star Doop Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. Also, it's a valley. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Star Rod from Star Haven, the power of that place has weakened, and Star Kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent a ninja to my father, Merlin, hoping that I could coax you to come here. Because I have found out where the last Star Spirit is. It came to me in a dream, a vision of the last Star Spirit, begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north. Up top sits the Crystal Palace. The star spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of local people. And now, no one can remember how to reach the palace. There is a way, though, and it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here. Take this. What is it? It's a weapon. Weaponized scarf. <gasps> Ooh, it's got grenades laced all through it. It can explode. This scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. You, you don't know how to use a scarf? That you just you just wrap one end and, and then throw the other end of it's it's a scarf, dude. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City if you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace. Sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Star Haven. Such a hate, such a fate would be awful. I would hate that fate. Please, help them and expel Bowser from the sky. Violently expel. Put it on his permanent record. Mayor Penguin of Shiver City should have the other vital item you need. If you use it and the scarf, it is said that the way to the Crystal Palace will open. 
First, you must go to Shiver City. I, I just came from there, dude. This seems to be what Paper Mario does. Just insert just a little bit of backtracking, but I, it, I think it makes sense for here. Oh yes, Mario! I'd almost forgotten. There is supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. A legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes. Sometimes, even walls may lie. Confusing, yes. But you must find the shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. It's not a video game without obscure mysteries. Please, don't forget it. I... Super Paper Mario would absolutely make that kind of joke. Fourth wall, no more. <gasps> I'm too observant. Yaha! You found me! <laughs> Wait, uh, did you see me glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise into the sky soon? Uh, wait a couple years, kid. This seems familiar, like Pokemon Ranger 2. Never played it. But I'm sure it's like standard Nintendo stuff. I wonder, I wonder, who made the Pokemon spin-off games? Was it Intelligent Systems? That game was made by HAL Laboratory and Creatures. So just the standard uh, Pokemon spin-off companies. Sure, I mean, at least the ones that make those games. The Kirby one, the Kirby company. Pretty good, pretty good. Can you trade the scarf for a puppy? Uh, Goku, if only if you're a snowman that guards the secret to the northern hemisphere island, wherever we're going. I'll see you there. Along with the ninjas, we're taking care of the star kids under the instruction of the mystic Merle. Merle, it's very rewarding to think that one of these kids might grow up to be a star spirit. Oh, can you imagine it? What a happy day that'd be. But unless things get better around here, it'll just be a fantasy that never comes true. How, how, how does a star kid get born? Out of the twinkle of someone's eye? Out of a desire, a wish? In your heart? Or when a mommy star and a daddy star love each other very much? They call the stork! I'm cooking for the star kids. They're behaving pretty well. That's a relief. It's probably because they believe you'll get the star rod back. I certainly hope you do. There is a moment in Ranger 2 that's like this, and it's great. So many games. Like, the reason I play retro games on stream is exactly this. To play games I missed out on, because I can't play every game as a kid. I played, you know, the obvious ones. I played, like, most of the Zelda games, most of the mainline Mario platformers. But some RPGs that I just didn't have time for at the time, falling by the wayside. And Nintendo has a surprising amount of them. Nice twink emote. Yeah, he's a winkin'. He's winkin'. Tell me a story. Tell me the story about the time you say the star spirit. Oh, Mario got plenty of those. Somebody read me a story. It's all about how the stars in Star Haven grab people's wishes. I wonder what Twink is doing. Do you think Twink's doing fun stuff up there? He's having the time of his life. Hanging out with Princess Peach. You know it. Yeah. This is Starborn Valley. Ah, Merle makes his home here, along with ninjas and toads. They look after Star Kids until they go up to the sky. It must be a hard work. It must be a hard work. Just one. Instead of the boss, I'm gonna fight. You fight a Protect Doggo instead. Now that just sounds like Earthbound. Carbon Dog becomes Diamond Dog. One of the Star Kids is hiding somewhere. Huh. Could you tell me if you find him? I did. I suppose it's natural for youngsters to be full of energy, but they're trying my patience. I don't have the time for this. I don't know where this lore came from that ninjas apparently care for the Star Kids, but at least they're represented in this game somehow. You know, they kind of look like stars, but if you take the top point and just make it ears instead. I, 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 okay. Hello? Yahaha! Do I get Korok poop? 
Can you actually tell this ninja that you found the star kid? Or am I looking for an entirely different star kid or something? Oh well. One of the star kids seems to be playing hide and seek. You haven't seen him, have you? I swear, the second I take my eyes off him, he always runs off somewhere. What a naughty little star kid. I found him. I found him. Why is Mario, like, keeping his identity secret? Diamond dog. Someday, still waiting for the perfect moment for me to go ahead and stream Earthbound. Because, like, it's gotta be, it's gotta, I gotta save it for, like, a special occasion, an event. I can't just start playing it. It's one of my favorite games of all time, so I... See, what usually happens when I play RPGs like that is there's two kinds of people that watch Earthbound on Twitch. One are the fans of it that just want to see someone play it for the first time and want to gush all about it. And the other is people who also haven't seen it and want to experience it or are just there are there for the streamer regardless of whether or not they've known it before. Hey, the Toto! So I want to have a good mix of both. Because you can't really have an Earthbound stream without without a good amount of them. At least that's what I think. I already played the game before, so you know. There is a limit to how much I can enjoy it without sharing that experience with other people. You get a scarf. Nice. And I gotta go get a hat. You're dancing, you're dancing. Egg, 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 egg. Somebody's gotta be able to do something about him. Here, bump it. Explode and then shatter into pieces. Is that a good idea? Honestly, if that resulted in the entire ice block just disintegrating, decimating it, I'd actually feel really guilty. Really guilty. That's Egg. Maybe that's what happens to him. He's just dead. By the time I beat the game and the credits roll, we have a little flashback to Egg in the ice and he's still frozen. And maybe there's an Easter egg in Thousand Year Door that I've never seen before where you can actually travel all the way back to this exact area and see him once again, once more. Actually, how much money do I have? 20. All right, yeah, no. Definitely am nowhere near rich enough to go buy that secret item from the from Rip Cheeto. Rip Cheeto. Does he sell me a bag of flaming hot Cheetos? I am a little hungry. Not going to lie. I can't remember the last time I've had a bag of hot Cheetos. Honestly, I thought the day I became an adult with my own income, I'd just be buying hot Cheetos like every day. Every time I visit the supermarket. That's how it used to be when I was a kid. Like anytime the ice cream the ice cream the, the, the ice cream man came by in his van. There you go. Gotta get a Sonic ice cream pop, a bag of hot Cheetos, and then maybe like a toy or something. That's what I used to get when I was a kid. Gotta have that ice cream... Uh, gotta have that Sonic Melty ice cream. With the gumball eyes that never are aligned correctly. Oh, Mario! Did you see... Did you reach Starboard Valley? Did you see Mel? Oh, excellent! He said what? An item that has been passed down in the city? Oh, oh, right! There was something like that. Let me guess, you gave it to Herringway. Just a minute, I think I got it somewhere. It's an egg. Yes, I found it. Here it is. You got a bucket. Oh, you turn it upside down, it's a hat. This bucket has been passed down through the years in Shaver City. Not very magical, is it? As Merle must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. Ah, yes. The legendary bucket of time. They say that if you crack some eggs into it and wait seven years, you'll have really stinky buckets. 
If you use this and the scarf together, the way the crystal palace will open. Who knows what all that means, though? <laughs> I don't hate this latest clue as how to use them together. You tie the scarf to the bucket handle, whip it around like some kind of ball and chain, and then you just crack Egg's eyes open. Sounds like those star kids in Starborn Valley are in trouble. I hope you do your best for the little tykes. They're just the kids. Best of luck to you. It's a good thing he didn't kick the bucket when he collapsed. <laughs> ah, we thought he did. But uh, no bucket kicking today. Oh, Mario just got the bucket. He can cross that off his bucket list. Nice. Kick it. Kick it good. Now, now. Would Paper Mario really go as to far as to go far as to even do to want to to look, to look more like? Would Paper Mario go as far as to make a death joke? Yes. Yes, they would. Till your games be over. I swear. The writing for the series has only gotten more and more clever. And I'm all for it. I want to save this lad! You know the reason they did that? Because you have, you have to backtrack through here anyway. You're guaranteed to see him again. Oh boy. Oh, you talk. A cool bucket hat. Thank you. A warm scarf. Thank you. What a kind man you are. We thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. Wait, let me let me see if I can do something here. Did I ever make a... a filter for multi? As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret! That's not multi, that's the Snatcher. Wow! Oh, these are exactly the snowmen from Mario 64. The ones that jump around. I only want to save Egg because I don't want to go to jail. No! I will save Egg from within jail. I can go all Giorno Giovanna Mafia style. I can run the mob from inside the prison. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowmen. Okay, I'm starting to think that this might just be like the last half of the chapter. So I might just I might just finish out the chapter today. We gotta make a decision. Do I save it here and switch to Shantae? I feel like it's too late for that though, because I'd only get like 40 minutes of Shantae. Or do I just finish out the chapter? I guess I should. Alright, no Shantae today. I didn't think this chapter would be so short, honestly. Considering the length of the previous two chapters. But I don't know, I don't know yet for sure. Ah, good day! Rude! I am not the popsicle! Plumber flavor! We got every flavor on the boardwalk! We got raspberry, cherry, plumber from Brooklyn. Everything you need. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. So let's see. Let's see if Goombario can get all the rocks out of the way. No? Only a couple of them? Yeah! Ow! This start is starting to look familiar. No! Oh! Two turns. It sucks that these, that the, the piranha plants and the gold pits come together. Come together right now over me. Because I could deal with the insane amount of damage the gold pits do, but the fact that Mario can't move for two turns after. Really lame. Alright, I'll survive. But barely. Rude! Very rude! How rude! Ba -da 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 -da. Alright, we're good. Skydive! Five damage, perfect. 
It's not a short chapter. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. That Mario's turn would have been next. Be good. Be good. For now. I should have taken that turn to smooch or something. We'll see. I did just save. So I will not use an item before the next battle. As long as I don't get first strike, I should be fine. This is jamming. The music is so cacophonous. Eh? Alright. You know what? No, not timeout. It could be dangerous. It might not work. You thought I was chicken flavored. I'm chicken flavored. Mario is plumber flavored. Both flavors you probably don't want on your ice cream. I mean, I don't know you. I don't know about you. Let's see if Watt can disable them. Watt's a pretty technical character, if you think about it. Paralyze all enemies with an electric shock. Sure. Shocking. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see how you like it when you can't move, huh? Cheese and crackers. Yum. Electro Dash. Bada boom, baby. I'm guessing this part might be pretty lengthy then. Kind of analogous to the volcano part. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. It definitely puts me in an awkward spot for tomorrow's stream. Because if. Since the next chapter is gonna be the last. If I start that and go through it all, I'm just gonna have to finish the game after that. So there's gonna be a lot of like in between chapter stuff we'll miss out on. If we're okay with not doing all like Koopa Coots favors and all the ma mail delivery stuff, then we could just, after this, rush on straight through the last chapter tomorrow. But uh, what do you guys think? I, I'd have to decide because I haven't played this game before. I don't know what that looks like. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Piti parana. Hoo hoo. Power quick. Power geyser. I messed up. Oh, I missed. Do 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 ba do do. How about we just drop all the games we're playing right now, and then we'll just. The only game we'll ever play ever again is... Uh, we'll just play PS5 games. All the time. Paper Mario, what's that? What's a Nintendo? Clearly, Sony has proven so themselves to be the superior game makers. Yeah, that, 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 I do. 24! I'm not too far from another level up. Wow. Always pay the lady. She makes sure you're taken care of. I feel like we're in the edge of the world up here. Seriously, this is a really remote place to go adventuring. If I really wanted that to be a Krillin voice, I'd be I'd do more like, I don't know, and then be a bit more condescending. Krillin's always a bit sarcastic when uh when they're not in the middle of a battle situation. Huh? Destructo Disc! Is this the first time I've legitimately used Cooper in a long time? For his out of battle skill? It feels like it. I'm sure I used it to break up. Wait, I'm where did you come from? What? Wait, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking at him. Wait, I wanna. I wanna see. I wanna see a playback. Give me a replay. Where did you come from? Uh, <laughs> hmm? The no! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me! Imposta! Who are you really? Tell me your name! I'm Koopa. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? That's impossible. I'm the one and only Koopa. You're talking crazy talk now. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Koopa. Really? I found you, faker. 
Faker? I think you're the fake Koopa around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough to be my fake. Come on, Mario, you know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying. Mario, you know I'm Koopa, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Uh... Quick, shoot them both! Shut your mouth, goody-goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. I you. You're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, moron and Mario. You have to decide who's lying. It's the only way. Pick the one who you think is lying and whack him really hard with the hammer. Fine, yeah, fine with me. You think you get away with a trick like that? Fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Zero hesitation. <laughs> Look, man, even if you were the real Cooper, I'm not gonna get let you get away with calling me a moron. Also, Dupless! They are from this game! I was wondering, because I heard Dupless' species existed in Paper Mario before. PV Gamer, welcome back! Welcome back to Treachery and Impersonation. Joke's on you. Get him, Bobette. Blow them both up. Use the area of effect attack. Yeah! What made you think that was the, I was the one lying, huh? It must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. You sent it up. You're pretty good. Don't be such a crybaby. You lost. What are you thinking trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up. I'll trick you. Got him. Trick this. Boss battle. Wait a minute, where'd they become two of them? They're multiplying. All I gotta do is figure out your real name and you, you leave me alone, right? Duple ghost. It's fun that they um, turn these into, I guess, a unique character with Duplis in the next game. This is a Duple ghost. Duple ghosts disguise themselves as members of our party. Max HP 15, attack 4, defense 0. They love to attack in disguise. It seems like they're generally stronger fighters when they're not disguised, though. Just like Lee from the... Dojo. But okay. Well, I'm running low on FP. How about let's use a Star Storm instead? PK... Star Storm! Bop, 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 bop. Oof. The fact that that attack is pretty much the same as the attack the quote-unquote Star Ghost used. That was a pretty big hint that those probably weren't actually our enemy. Eight, eight, eight. What can we do that does eight damage? Not the much. I'll do this. Five. Fake Goombario. I'm the real hedgehog around here. Uh, Paracarry. I actually don't have enough FP for an air raid. Oh boy. You know who does have enough FP? Cooper. He's making waves today. Power shell. Easy! What's a Nintendo? I never heard of it before. Did they make games? They make Mario games? I thought that was Sega. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. How close am I to a level up? If I'm pretty close, I might not use a FP recovery item. I, th I think we're good enough. Rock? You got the pebble. A common pebble. Throw it to damage one enemy. Aha! I got a rock! It's all mine roll! Gee, some of the puns in Animal Crossing are really terrible when you say them out loud. I'm scared. Who are you? Who are you? What is that thing? Hey! Pop! I see you have a mace. Touche. White clubber. This is a white clubber. They live in cold climates. Who knows why they moved here? Yeah, the vent was low. Max HP 12, attack 5, defense 0. They sometimes attack consecutively. They're pretty powerful. It's tough to swing such big clubs. Ice attacks won't work on them, so break out fire if you have it. Oh, your weakness is fire would have never would have guessed. I don't got nothing. Oof. I'm gonna refresh. Just for now. It's at least a C plus. 
But that's okay, because this is a C plus. Ba ba da ba 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 da da. I got so much for my refresh. So much for my refresh. Yup. Kaboom! Happy flower saved my butt. Just enough for a bomb bit. Ready? Go! Sneesh! They moved out here because it's free real estate. At least cheaper real estate. Oh, a free super shroom. I didn't even realize I actually have a lot of items right now. Yeah, sure, let's use one. Give me a super shroom because I'm about to pick one up anyway. Yum, 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 yum. And let's go get this honey syrup. It's 5 FP, but it's better than nothing. Sweet! Literally. Last time I visited Canada... Oh, well, there you go, last upgrade. Hey guys, you want to vote for the last party member to upgrade? It's a very important decision, let's not mess this one up. Tidal wave! Talk about us. Please! Upgrade Bombette. Dang it! Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry, PP Gamer. We'll get him. We'll, we'll get him bomb next time. Da -da 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 -da. I'm surprised there was no, like, fanfare about that. Not sure. Maybe sushi. I'm willing to lean with you on that, Folsy Bear. Last time I went to Canada, um, I found out about this, um, there's a... There's a type of dessert that you can make from maple syrup where you take this special th really thick maple syrup and just squeeze it onto the ice. Like traditionally you find a clean patch of ice outside, but you know in today's day and age they have just this little freezer inside the store that they just like take the cover off and just do it, they squeeze the syrup on there in the store. And they stick a lollipop stick in it, and then you just have this frozen maple syrup stick. And it's 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 really delicious. It's it's like just on the verge of being like a lollipop. But you gotta eat it fast or else it'll melt back in the syrup. You wanna pick up the shooting star? This seems suspicious. I don't know. Got the snowman? The thunder? Thunder! Upgrade spike. And you don't mean Lucky Lester, you mean Upgrade Spike. Who we are about to get in Origami King. Clearly, most important character in all of Mario. Boy, climbing this mountain is really hard. You'd think the path to a palace dedicated to the stars would be a lot less trying on the legs? There's gotta be an elevator or something. Do I trust- do I trust these? I don't trust them. I don't need them. Who needs items anyway? This is all too suspicious. They make syrup, maple syrup popsicles out on east, out east too. Ooh, I would love to have some. You can't just use any maple syrup. I mean, you could try, but you have to have really, really, really cold ice to make it actually work. Ooh, a secret. So they sell this specific type of maple syrup that's thick enough to make that work. I wanted to get a bottle. Uh, but weird laws on, like, importing liquids. Besides the normal, like, TSA traveling liquid restrictions prevented me from actually buying some, so I was sad. I had to buy one of those little tourist maple syrup bottles from the airport itself, and you know that is entirely too cheap. It's, like, all runny and watery. What a strange place this is. It's bright even in the cave. This must be the small cave that Merle told us about. There's something strange about this place. Even the walls seem suspicious to me for some reason. The walls may lie. Huh? What was that? What was that part of the mountain earlier? Who are you? Merle's mom? Whoa! Are you the ghost from Super Paper Mario that talked about her own love life? Like, for literal hours? At last, it is Mario. 
I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Do you find it strange that I know of you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. I am? My name is Madame Merlar. I am a messenger of the stars. You know Merlin and Merle well. I am their ancestor. Stars spoke to me of you through my dreams. Which is really weird that I have dreams considering I'm dead. Do I sleep? Am I eternally slumbering? Maybe I'm dreaming now. They said you would come to the shrine on Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace, where stars are honored. At least they're not the followers of Ganon. They leave shields everywhere they go. It's quite terrible. Now, what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. In the interest of time, I'll be brief. So pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Hey, what's going on? Hold on, I'm getting the music ready. There it is. Ahem. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. I ran there immediately, and... Okay, this seems like it's actually emotional. I'll not meme it up. I ran there immediately, and... But it was actually... Oh, such a sight. I was... And it was so... It was none other. So then, then I. This is the lady who told us her life story back in Super Paper Mario. Well, later in Super Paper Mario. I thought this was important. Look at that bubble. That is surpassed normal level of snot bubble. This is advanced snot bubble. Thing is wiggling and waving way more than is structurally possible. So that's why you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace. But, hey, you, were you even listening to my story? Eh. Yeah. Well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. Okay, I'll sell it to you. With this stone, you can open the way to Crystal Palace. Go on, make haste. Keo Krazoa Palace. Hmm. Do you think you understood my shortened version of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. Perhaps one day, I'll tell you the full story. Until then, good luck. Ooh. Crystal Palace, Mario, in England. And a soccer team. Sounds like a long and storied history. Mario is ignorant of that, though. Give me. Got the Star Stone. A stone. It opens the path to the Crystal Palace. Nightmage Mystic is back with snacks. What did you get? You all nice and comfy? Gonna, gonna crunch and munch on some snackies? Maybe some chicken nuggets? I do want some, though. Sleepy, but also giving a speech. You should stop at the entrance to the palace. Oh, is that a good place? Actually, that is perfect, Lemmy fan. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, because we're, we're about to get to the length of a full stream. Is this it, though? 
That would kind of mean we stop now, but I'm okay with that because I don't... If I go to the palace, it's gonna... It's gonna be a whole thing. And I think it makes more sense to maybe... Maybe end a little bit earlier than usual. Because I have been streaming every day this week, and I usually don't do that. I usually take a break. So I think it's in everybody's interest. Like, I know it's getting late for some people. It might be a good idea to, like, leave it very soon. We'll see. We'll get as close as we can. This is pretty, though. Wait, the... They're making the best use of, out of the N64's transparency effects. Ooh, that's a lot of them. At least there's no gulpits. Oh, we are we are not well equipped for this battle. I'll tell you what. Ba -da 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 -da. We'll do the most damage. I think if I switch to Bombette. Da -da 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 -da. All enemies on the ground. I'll have two FP. Not gonna be enough though. We'll see what we can do. I'll try to survive. What is sleep? It's that thing where you... Uh, what, what happens when you sleep? You feel refreshed or something? I don't know. If I had an attack item, that would be perfect. I guess with double dip, that's the only real way to do more than one attack a turn. I see. I see now why you cry. I understand now why you cry. Maybe a repel gel? How much damage could they possibly do? 5 plus 5 plus... That's a lot. I'm gonna go safety route. Goodbye. I'm the invisible man. Incredible how you can. See right to me. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> you missed. No, oh, you missed. Perfect. And just enough FP to go to a power quake. What was that noise? Your doom? Yes! Like it, love it, gotta have it. I... So far, even though the writing is a little bit more basic in this game, I say so far as if we're not like in the last two chapters of the game already anyway. I'll say that this game has a actually decent difficulty curve and that I actually have to try. I have to... It's not at the point where I'm entirely too decked out with all the badges and upgrades and whatnot. Because of that 30 BP limit, I'm actually trying to manage my resources in a way to make the most of what I have. Is this the entrance to the palace? Did I just make a queen reference? Probably? I said a lot of things just now. Probably one of my stock phrases. Pro not not get live, but gotta have it. That's 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 cold stone creamery. Invisible man. That's not queen, that's um Is that Queen? I thought that was the I thought that was a song by the Scat Man. His only other song besides I'm a scared man skibidibidip bum ba da pop bum ba da pop Maybe it's a cover? I actually never knew if that was. This is it. The entrance. Shall we keep our fans waiting? We're gonna have to. I'll say we call it here and we'll have to we'll we'll leave it for the we'll we'll leave this for the next stream. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thankfully, we already streamed Shantae this week. Someday we'll get back to it. Maybe this weekend. We'll see. But this is a great place to leave it off. Oh, it is a Queen song. I guess I guess that the only version I know is a cover then. Well, what would I do without you, Carlos? Sad. Very sad. But I need sleep. I'm sure everybody else does too. So without further ado... I'm gonna level up like a boss in the palace. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I feel a little bit underleveled right now, actually. I'm sure this is all according to Cake Kaku. Or Nintendo's grand plan. Any art? No art, but um... 
I will show... Sakurai, uh, he has a Twitter account, and... Every day, every week or so, he posts a screenshot from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And he always, like, uses dev tools to get angles that are usually impossible. And, uh, yesterday he posted this. I'm serious. I don't know- I don't know what his plan is. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Pathetic! Next level! <laughs> Isn't it just so intimidating? That's not even art. If you do have art to show the stream, tweet it at me or post it to the Discord. <laughs> and I'll show it instead of, um, very, very strange pictures of Deji that makes you feel, um, awkward emotions. I'm Deji! You're ready for sleepy time. Not after what I just yelled. <laughs> okay, everybody. Wow, I'm not streaming until 12 today. We're ending early! You guys deserve it. You guys deserve a little bit of rest. Uh, we'll do the spiel. Yeah, stopping at the perfect time. Sounds good. Thank you for letting me know, Lemmy. Uh, tube soup, redeeming hydrate. Let's do it. Let's get a big old drink. Fulzy Bear says, hope you had a good night. You're about to sleep anyway. Sounds like perfect time. Everybody, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitch to catch me live. Next time I play this, not finishing it tomorrow, but finishing it at the very least next week. We are right at the end. We are very close to the end of Paper Mario, and we're all ready for Origami King. We might even be able to sneak in a few streams of Sticker Star. Not gonna bother trying to finish that game. Just, you know, checking it out for the sake of curiosity, because why not? Why not, like, go through a history of what Paper Mario has become so that we can truly appreciate Origami King, huh? Huh? Or maybe I'll just play Bug Fables instead. I'll probably enjoy that a lot more. We'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, yeah. There's a YouTube channel, there's a Twitter, there's a Discord, all that good stuff. But if you need to go to sleep, I will let you. More Paper Mario tomorrow. Stay tuned. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. I'll see you in the next one. And stay clucky. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>